KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the 4th of February. I'm James Spann. Very mild again today with a few showers. Then tomorrow and tomorrow night, rain and storms. Storms could be severe, especially tomorrow night. We'll talk about that as we go along. We turn colder, by the way, on Thursday. Big trough in the western states. It is cold and unsettled there. For the east, a broad southwest flow aloft and a very moist air mass. That was the radar this morning at 442. And at that point, we had light rain across about the northern half of the state. We'll see some periods of light rain today, but nothing severe today, nothing too heavy. Very mild early this morning, Birmingham at 60. And again today, we're expecting a high close to 70. But around the nation, it is so cold over the north and west part of the United States. But we're not going to feel that uh, through midweek. We will see colder air on Thursday, but the really cold air stays north and west of here. Winter storm warnings in effect for parts of west Texas. Winter storm watches for parts of north Texas, Oklahoma, and Missouri. As there are friends there are going to see some snow over the next few days. Got a flash flood watch for a small part of North Georgia, but no flash flood watches in effect here. This is the severe weather outlook for today and tonight. A couple of marginal risks just north and west of here. That marginal risk clips the northwestern corner of the state, and that's mainly for tonight. This outlook runs through 6 a.m. tomorrow. Then after 6 a.m. tomorrow, this is for tomorrow and tomorrow night, all of Alabama in some type of severe weather risk. We've got the standard slight risk now as far north as Winfield, Holly Pond, and as far east as Talladega, Tuskegee, and Abbeville. And then for the rest of the state, a low-end marginal risk. And we'll talk about this in the timing in a moment. Then on day three, which is Thursday, got a marginal risk for areas south and east of Birmingham. And then the standard slight risk over the southeastern corner of the state, down around Dothan, and Ozark up to Phoenix City. And there's the larger look at the uh, risk on day three, Thursday. That risk extends up to uh, near Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. Here's the rain for the next seven days, a lot for the southeastern states. Rain amounts for Alabama between two and three inches for most places. And the bulk of that is going to be tomorrow, tomorrow night into Thursday. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 06C run, 3 o'clock this afternoon. You can see that big trough in the west, ridge in the east. This afternoon, the bulk of the rain uh, north of us, but still we could see some showers around. This is the high-res NAM at 3 o'clock. But the key about today, it's not going to rain all day. Cloudy, mild, high up around 70. Now, tomorrow, a 999 millibar surface low is south of Memphis over the Mississippi Delta moving northeast. And that puts us in the warm sector. Snow is likely uh, just northwest of Dallas-Fort Worth, Oklahoma City, Kansas City, and St. Louis in the cold sector. This is 3 o'clock. Things are pretty quiet. I think the key point here is that the uh, timing has shifted a bit. Uh, let's go to midnight tomorrow night. Heavier storms coming into northwest Alabama. Strong storms over the southern part of the state. Of course, part of the key here is uh, watching the activity down in south Alabama. That might cut off the... Uh, decent instability for the northern half of the state. But again, that remains to be seen. But there's a lot of things that could lessen the threat for North Alabama. But certainly all of the state needs to pay attention to this. This is the instability at midnight tomorrow night. Values between 200 and 800 joules per kilogram for the northern part of the state. This is the SRH, the storm relative helicity, veering of the wind with altitude in relation to storm motion. This is what can set the updrafts into... Uh, Rotation, the better values are over extreme northeast Alabama, Tennessee, North Georgia. The STP values, about one unit for the north. Little uh, max area down in south Alabama, that's where the higher instability values will be. And finally, this is the updraft helicity product. 
kind of suggesting the better chance of those rotating updrafts could be over the southern half of the state. So we're thinking now the main window for severe storms between 4 p.m. tomorrow into really the early morning hours Thursday, maybe 6 a.m. Thursday. And uh, storms could produce hail, strong straight line winds, and there could be a few isolated tornadoes. So it looks like mainly a nighttime event tomorrow night. So just be sure you can hear the warnings. And if you watch these videos, we know you've got that covered, but just be sure you tell your friends so they know there could be a few rough storms tomorrow night. Now, Thursday, we're colder. Uh, we stay in the 50s all day, and it could be a day with uh, falling temperatures. We might start the day around 65 and falling into the 50s with uh, periods of rain. Then on Friday, we are dry. We'll forecast a mixture of clouds and sunshine. We start the day around freezing. The high will be in the middle 50s. And then the next wave comes along Saturday with a chance of rain by afternoon. This is the GFS. This is the European showing the uh, rain a little deeper into the state. Nothing too heavy. Highs will be in the 50s. And then Sunday, that feature is by. Sunday should be a nice day, partly sunny with a high close to 60. Monday, moisture comes back. Maybe some showers will be mild, highs up in the 60s. And this is a week from today, Tuesday the 11th, same pattern. Big trough in the west, ridge in the east, cloudy with a chance of showers. Let's go out 10 days, Thursday of next week, same idea. Ridge in the east, trough in the west, and again, showers are possible. Rain for Birmingham for the next 15 days off the European Ensemble, about 5 inches, a very wet pattern. Temperatures, you can see the cool down on Friday, the national blend of models showing a high of 52. But then we bounce right back with 60s in here early next week. And these are the anomalies from CPC, the Climate Prediction Center, for the 11th through the 17th. And I think you get the idea. Very cold in the west. Mild weather continues in the east. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.